welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll talk about the survey so this is the my continuation part of the application development training uh, last few days we are talking about the hospital management applications so today we'll talk about that uh, survey on that hospital management so why survey needed and how the survey can be triggered so survey is needed whenever your a particular a thing is completed like that um, for let's take example in a hospital management whenever a patient records state changes from new to in progress and in progress to the complete it means that the problem the patient record is completed now we should take a uh, information or we can take a input from a user right or we should take a input from a user that how they liked our product how they like our um, uh, the uh, data, data okay so in that case we need the um, survey okay so without wasting time let's get started So to build the survey, first of all, in the left navigation, you have to type the survey. And in this survey, you can see this is the complete module about the survey. So first of all, you need to design a survey. If you click the view survey, there are a lot of survey already available in the systems. But our case, it's a scope application and it's a new custom table. So we need to create a survey. So go back to the survey viewer and it will be open a form where we can design the survey. So first of all, in this survey, you can see there are three tabs in the left side. One is the control, another is the question, and third is the category. So question is the predefined question bank. From the question bank, it is coming the question. And the categories, the question bank, whenever the question is defined, it all are coming from this category only. So now we are going to create the fresh few questions. So let's take an example. So we'll take a number scale first. We'll take that and drag that number scale. And here we'll put the details called how you like our product. So next question we are asking for that they are like our payment system or not. So just take the scale one and drag here. And then here is our question is that you like our like our payment system. And here you can see there are three options we need to we are trying to modify that so click on that config icon in the choice we are going to change that uh, yes and then drop down we are selecting no and then these options we are removing next question we are asking for that uh, provide your feedback so it's a string field Okay, so these three questions we have just created, just save that. Now in this design sections, we have just defined three questions. In the configuration, what we have to do, uh, we have to select the survey owner. By default, it is taking my name as a system owner. If you want to put some introduction message, you can put, otherwise just leave as it is. In the introduction section, I am just putting that, please provide your feedback. Now in the last uh, column, I am just selecting the source table. Uh, here our case is the patient record. So I am just selecting the patient record. Just save and make preview. So once you preview it to survey, it looks like that please provide your feedback and then uh, you can see this is the introduction text and here is the question all this question and it will be once you click ok it will be looks like that so again you just click the publish the survey will be published now go back to your modules uh, left navigation and click the view survey and you add the created module created by module here created and created by you will be able to see that our survey is available so now you can see there are few survey is available the new survey we just created let's rename that go back to the designer and change that uh, patient record patient survey
and if I refresh again, it should show me that the, the our new survey called patient survey. Let's open this survey. Now you can see this in survey definitions, all the uh, details that we have provided like the patient survey is available, description we don't provide that, owner we have selected that and if you uh, scroll down, there is a one matrix uh, category which is created if I open this matrix category patient survey there are all questions that we have created okay now go back to our survey bags and here is the options called trigger condition so go back and select and create a new trigger condition so trigger condition means that in which condition our survey should be run so our case is the patient record so let's select that table as a patient record after selecting the patient record, you can see there is a field called user field. We have to select the user to whom we are just going to send that survey. So we are just selecting because we don't have any such field, reference field. We are just selecting updated by. So who will be updated by to that, that person we are going to send that. Okay. And then here, the I am just setting the condition in state changes to state changes to complete so whenever the state will be changes to complete state in that case survey should be triggered and survey will be sent to the patient record updated by as we don't have any field called the user right now we'll create that field if uh, needed okay and here it says the probability so 100 percent means that every time it should send a survey okay so let's recap quickly first of all we need to design this uh, survey by survey designer and then once the survey is designed go back to the survey and select uh, check that all the data is populated properly or not and after that in the trigger condition you need to create a trigger condition and in this trigger condition you need to select the table you need to select the fields and you need to select that probability like you can select the 50 percent whenever the 50 percent means that 50 percent task uh, like 50 percent patient record will be closed in that time it will be triggered the notification 50 percent into own trigger so you can select the randomly otherwise if you uncheck it will be sent the every time okay so that's it uh, let's go back to our patient record now so this is the patient record which is in right now in progress state what i am going to do i am just going to make it complete once i make the complete our as per our expectation it should trigger a survey let's see that if i go to the emails module right now so now you can see in my emails there is a, a survey triggers and the subject line is the survey invitation new survey on the patient survey and if i open this if i open this record you can see that uh, this will have all this um, if i open that and click the preview emails so basically, if I turn on my email engine, it will actually deliver to my email um, addresses. And then the email will be looks like that. You have invited to take the survey, patient survey, and click here to take the survey. So if you see my, uh, if you see um, in my email, I will receive these types of emails. And then once I click that, it will redirect me to provide my survey. So now you can see once I click that it will redirect me to the survey page where I can provide my survey that how I like this uh, product or how I like the payment system. So, okay. so let's go back to the survey module again and if you see that in the survey module there is a one survey instance is created. Okay. And if I scroll up you can see there is a one uh, uh, you can say the reports is generated right now ready to take survey is one it means that one survey is generated and it is in ready to take like the person have to take the survey it's not yet completed state okay and in the survey instance it will generate an instance and where uh, it is assigned to the particular user to whom the survey should be take okay so if i open this record here so you can see that uh, the assessments, the assessment instance is looks like that. The matrix type is patient survey. Uh, the record is pointing to the patient record only. Okay. And then uh, these have assigned to my name and the state is right now ready to, ready to take. And 
these are three questions that I it is generated for me so let's complete my survey I am just selecting that I like this product in three payment feedback ok and click submit once I submit that it is saying that you have completed this survey it means that I have completed my survey let's go back to the assessments and refresh and see how it looks like right now you can see that uh, the state is right now completed so state value changes and if you see that the value it's right now saying 2 and 1 so all the value is stored under the assessment instance uh, questions value here you can see all the data now if I go back to the survey and refresh this module definitely it is showing that taken that one minute from now it means that it's just completed the survey is just now completed and if I refresh this survey again this reports will be changed to ready to take into the completed state so now you can see that the one survey which is completed okay so that's how you can generate your survey I hope you like this video and you will be able to generate the survey from these custom applications if you have any question please let me know in my comment sections also I'll request you everyone to uh, subscribe my channel and hit like button if you like my video thank you very much have a great day